Don't change that dial. Today we find out why he named his bike Cheetah after the strip club. That's right. <laughs> Wild Riders in the house. Rev up, gang, with the Kawamoto Podcast. For all things motorcycles, we keep those throttles twisted. You are watching the Power Moto channel on YouTube right now. Power Moto Podcast. Oh, Today, dude, Seth, I want to introduce you right now to Seth the Man from Wild Riders and Sloppy Stunts. Welcome, brother. Broward on yeah, top, man. baby. Hey, we out here. You. Let him know, baby. Broward on top, man. That's Bravo. What... Yes, sir. Welcome. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Welcome, brother. We know it's been raining, and you could have turned any which way, but you made it. And boy, it's flooded. Power. It's flooded out there, boy. It's a man of his word, bro. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm going to make it no yeah. matter what. I pushed yeah. that wild wagon through some <laughs> ditches. I met you both. This is Omar the Red, my co-host. I want to introduce the entire yeah. team out there watching on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok. Follow these people. Please share your handle uh, before we get into it. I want them to know uh, what you've done, what you're doing. Get into it with us, brother. Talk to me. How many subscribers on Instagram and how many subscribers on Tik? I've been following you for a few years now. Yeah, man, dude. palmoto has been loyal to the game, that's for sure. Uh, my personal is uh, sloppy underscore stunts with a Z on the end. Uh, but screw that, man. Wild Riders Inc. is the real movement. That's the motion. That's the community. That's the family. Um, that's what I'm here to do. That's my mission on this world is to, you know, make a positive impact. And so that's what I created Wild Riders to do. Uh, kind of help me bridge that gap to the world so that you don't have to be a sloppy stunts fan to really catch that motion. Uh, so Wild Riders is a community. It kind of sums it up within, within the name. It's riders that love to get wild, man. That's awesome, what it's bro. all about. So Nice. Um, yeah, that's what that How is. How long have you been riding? I know uh, you're young. You're like 29? 26. Okay, yeah, I was going to yeah, say, yeah. Bro, this guy's a kid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're bringing the kids on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, this yeah, channel man. was designed for new riders, returning riders, and existing riders. And let me tell yeah. you something. If you want to get enthusiastic, you got to see what this man is capable of. So how many years have you been riding? Uh, and what got you into the sport? Yeah, man. So once I got out of high school, uh, so 2017, uh, what year is 24 now? So. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's seven been a while. seven years. Been yeah, out yeah. for a minute. Congrats, brother. Yeah, thank you, man. Thank you. Still going, still going strong. And like I said, there's no finish line. No finish line not until the casket drops. You know, I've had uh, some injuries or whatever, but that just uh, kind of fired me up to keep going. But yeah, man. Uh, like I said, once I got out of high school, I always had football uh, or some type of sport, whatever, to pour my heart into. When I got right. out of high school, I didn't have that anymore. Found motorcycles and it took over. So it was after high school that you started riding. Yep. Oh yeah. That was the same for, for me as well. Omar, how, how, how many years have you been riding now? Oh, dude, I, I, I'm too freaking old. My memory's not good. I, I'm not going to say. I'm not going to embarrass myself in the air like, oh, this guy's seven, two, three. No, no, I'm just going to stay quiet and, and smile. No, but it doesn't matter. Like, that's the same thing with wild riders, like you said. From new riders to their first day to people that have been riding their whole entire life, no discretion, man. Everybody's welcome. It's one family. It's all about your passion there, there behind you it. There you it's go. all about your that's passion behind it. That's what I'm talking it. about. If, if, you, if, you want, if you're here to have fun, man, come join the party. That's it. It don't matter how long you've been riding. I have a... I have a question for you, man. Yeah, hit me with it. Because I know, I, I know you just got you got all your stripes, but how did you name your bike Cheetah? How how did that do? How did <laughs> yeah. that happen? That's what yeah, we yeah, want yeah. to know. Yeah, That's what the viewers. I'm thinking. And I'm thinking it was a stripper. I'm thinking it was a nice stripper <laughs> that gave you a nice time, and it was cheap. You know, I yeah. Sometimes it all depends on the day. I got a different story, but no. The real reason is um, is I had to throw a uh, tribute back to the Zoo Crew, man, and uh, the Star Boys, the old school OGs, man, the ones that paved the way for the stunt community back in like early 2000s. They all wrapped their bikes in different animal furs. Oh, nice. uh, yeah, it was super cool. And uh, to this day and age, it's all about fancy paint jobs, and you know, and they're putting some bread into those bikes nowadays. And nothing's wrong with that. But I've always been kind of true to like. You know, it don't gotta be too fancy to have fun, and uh, I just like the like. Sometimes I like the corny vibes. You know, it's just like, it, you, but it's fun, man. It's wild riders to the full to the max, and uh, there's nothing more wild rider than some fur on that thing. You know. And uh, nobody's done that in years, so I feel like it was only right I bring it back as far as a wild rider goes. And I like it because it's very original, man. It's very I'm original, especially with the Harleys. Like I was telling you earlier, that everybody with the Harleys is the the black, the the black yeah. pants, black yeah. this, black everything's black. Everything's locked out. Yeah. yeah. Everybody try. You know, the Harley scene's always been accustomed to just being kind of hard. You know, yeah. like, super cool. Yeah. And, you know, whatever. And, uh, I'm all about being, you know, like just I love I love the humble vibes, man. You know, I'm not saying like I like black and whatnot too. Like, trust me, half my outfit's black. As you see, I'm wearing all black today. Yeah. Um, but 
I'm all about like making sure everybody feels welcomed or what it feels like. That's what my whole like keep it sloppy motto is. You know, it's like it's not worried about being perfect. It's uh, like kind of embracing those imperfections because that's what makes you unique. That's what makes you stand out. Uh, not be like the next person, the last person that was perfect. That's all perfect is. Like, what, what you have cooked up in your head of what you've seen. Uh, so and whenever you embrace those imperfections, that's really you're perfect. You know, uh, you're perfect. Well so. said. Well there said. You go. I saw the the difference in both of you. I met both of you at different bike nights. Yeah, yeah, that's true. All right, I was out there screaming, "Power Moto feeling you!" And if you were there, you already know Marina eighty four. We're gonna talk about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the second episode of Power Moto. We're gonna learn about bike night. And then I'm out there screaming, and someone's yelling louder. Someone's <laughs> more excited than Sky Champion. Yeah, so I'm like, I got to see this guy. So he set, yelled it out. He came and brought it. Was it Cheetah? I don't know. But it, before he had wrapped Cheetah, yeah. he brought his bike out and just slid right on a Marina 84 and just did the monster burnout that us sport bike riders are scared to do, bro. We're scared. We like to go fast straight, bro. We don't, you know what I'm yeah. He was laid it out for me. Yeah. And that video, thanks, bro, because that video, we were nothing. We were like, 200 followers. That's where it starts, man. man. Viral with that video. Thank you, brother. You I don't know, but for me, every time somebody does the burnout, I just hear the ching, 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 ching. That's how much you're spending on those brand oh, new yeah. tires. Oh, yeah. To know. take it to the street, to make it popular, oh, yeah. to make it like a cool thing to go on a weekend, ride with your boys, and go out and just camaraderie, fun, excitement, Dude. letting loose freedom, anything else. Spot on, man. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got a, I got a chubby just by hearing this. <laughs> when you say stuff, explain to me, because I'm a freaking idiot. Yeah. Uh, explain to me uh, stunt. Stunt riding? Yeah, 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 man. Explain it to me, because when I, when I hear stunt, I, I, I think of film and, and movies and stuff like that. But yeah. what is it that you do? So, so like, film and movies is a little bit more staged. You know, like, they're a little set up to do the stunt, whatever. Uh, we set our bikes up, and the rest is kind of free riding, man. Freestyle is a good way to put it. Um, but we do everything from burnouts to wheelies, but all different, you know, just in different ways and different styles. We add our own flair, flair to it. As far as like own tricks and like so a simple wheelie can now turn into like there's a hundred different variations of a wheelie whether it's like just stepping around in different areas of the bike crawling over the bike while you're doing burnouts or whatever but yeah it's really kind of a way to express yourself you know that's what it is for me at least um basically Damn. Yeah, no, it's so basically in a wheelie, you can uh, what you imagine is a normal wheelie is just sit down, boom, pop it up, and the wheel comes up. Well, as far as stunt riding goes, you add variations as far as that goes. So you can jump to the seat, and then you can all, all, like, put your feet over the handlebars. You can put uh, your left foot on the right peg, and then kick this right leg out back, back and forth. It just whatever it does to spice it up from a normal wheelie. I consider that stunt riding. You know, a wheelie. I wouldn't consider like actual stunts, um, and a burnout, I wouldn't consider actual stunts. But um, you add your little flair and your a variation to that, and then it's stunt riding. It's uh, a style, baby. All right. Yep. I want everybody at home to be taking notes. <laughs> yeah, this, yeah. this is very important for the love making, okay? <laughs> Guys, be taking notes so you know the, the, the one foot on top of the, on top of the bar, and yeah. then there you go. No, so, th those so. all got names and stuff, but you know, as far as like for the people sitting in the house, you know, they're not gonna understand when I say a high chair wheelie or a Ralph Louis wheelie. Uh, something like that. So it, Prince Albert. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah that's, you can make up with it. <laughs> that's a good one. But no. Um, but yeah, basically, you know, to sum it up, yeah, it's just putting your own flair on like a on the uh, the original wheelie. You know, whether it's you know, like I said, jumping on the seat, putting your feet over the handlebars, dragging both feet, whatever you're doing, running behind the bike. Uh, you know, all those got names, but... Uh, Come yeah. over here! Get back here! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Omar, yeah. so what we have done, Wild Riders and Power Motos in the same group, we want to make the videos interesting for the viewer. Right. So right, right. we've chased Sloppy and Wild Riders to their events. Well, yeah. dude, that's I'd freaking like, awesome. I'd like you no, to I, share. I appreciate you doing that. No, well, I appreciate you, man. We're bringing it to film. That's our yeah, job. Yeah, film. Yeah. You need film done? Reach Sky Champion, Yeah, man. Shout I, I, out. I've because. seen a couple of videos of your stuff, and it's, it's like, wow. I wish... I wish I, first of all, I had your age because I'm, I'm way too old to be doing that stuff. <laughs> He's yeah. old enough to be your dad. Bro. Yeah, <laughs> put it that way. Or your big uncle. And, uh, and uh, <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, it's impressive. I would want him to do it, but everything, every morning, everything, I get aches and pains. So I'm, I'm just going to leave that to you. Yeah. But it looks so freaking cool, man. Yeah. It's, so freaking it's, cool. Yeah. I'll tell you, it's, it's, it's something to behold because yeah. each one of them is putting on a performance. One is rotating their bike at an angle. Big shout out to 
Brandon Mallet 98. Yeah, man. Part Killing. of Wild Riders. Yes, sir. sir and Daytona HD Wheelies with Thank one you. leg, brother, with one leg. He takes his leg off and goes around the bike. What yeah. do you mean? He takes it. What do you mean? Wait, hold He's on. He's an amputee, you... brother. Veteran? What? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Veteran. Oh, my oh, yeah. God. But I don't think his injuries were from. Uh... I... No, those were from motorcycle accident, but he didn't let it stop. Told him. you. Yeah, well, man. I salute him. Yeah. Jeez, I have two perfect working legs, and I'm an idiot. And his daughter <laughs> rides in stunts. So these shows oh, yeah. are starting to be a phenomenal. Oh, yeah. And wow. people, and because of the filming, thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate you, Pleasure Seth. Mine, brother. Wild hey. Riders right now, because without it, it would just be you and me riding around, Omar. Yeah, <laughs> true. All right, okay. we're here with Seth. Go ahead, Omar. Yeah, why, why sloppy? Yeah. Don't tell me your yeah. girlfriend gave you that one, huh? Oh, man. Yeah, she gave it to me, too. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm talking yeah, about. Okay, okay. I love this guy. Yeah, I love know, this baby. guy. You know Good one. It. Yeah. Good yeah, one. yeah, no. Sloppy's <laughs> always better, man. But no, that goes um, in a couple different aspects. I like to let people's mind wonder for, at first. But the real reason is, like uh, I mentioned earlier in the beginning of this, is letting, uh, embracing those imperfections, man. Everyone's so worried about being perfect. As far as me as a rider... I came out of this, I started riding because I love it. And I love to let loose and I love to express myself. And uh, man, the best way to express yourself is don't be worrying about being perfect. If you're worrying about being perfect, it's going to take a lot of the fun out. And you're not going to, you're not going to be your best you because you're worried about what everyone else is looking at, judging, whatever. Uh, so whenever you embrace the slop, it embraces your imperfections. And that's what separates you from the rest. It makes you stand out from the rest of the people. If you did the trick perfect, just like the next person that you've seen do it perfect, well, I've already seen it. You look just like the last person I've seen do it. But whenever a motherfucker goes out there and drops some slop and then keeps it going and then keeps it's Ongoing. exciting. Sloppy stunts from Wild Riders. Where's he racing next? Where you going, bro? Man, so uh, next stunt show will probably be at Space Coast Holly Davidson. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, we're going to run nice. it back. Okay. And then uh, Biketoberfest, we're going to book some shows uh, somewhere up and down the coast. Uh, as of right now, we got to, uh, every Thursday night, we're at uh, 595 Truck Stops, right behind Vixens in Davie, Florida. Mm -hmm. um, that's where it goes down. Basically, it, we, we have a small stunt show, more so wild rider activity. Uh, we, we bring up our professional stunners, and they put on like little side shows for them. Love there's, it. There's not a specific time, but, uh, but you can book us for uh, everything from music videos to movies to birthday yeah, parties, man, but, uh, or if you, if you just have a business that you want to draw some attraction and get it popping, you, uh, you know, you just want to draw some excitement, make it dope, uh, and you want to put your place on the map, that's, you call us, that's Beautiful. what we're here to do. Wild Riders, like I said, Wild Riders as a whole is founded around the community, which is like wild, riders that love to get wild, but we also have a, a set professional stunt team. That will, that will pull up anywhere and anytime Fantastic. and and show your people a fucking time of their life like something they'll never forget and they'll always tie your company your venue whatever it is in with that memory that they can't forget fantastic well said brother well Thank said you. so in the future are we you're staying with the electric yeah you're staying with the merch you're doing the thursday bike night yep. you're traveling around the, i don't know how he does it all bro I, i'm barely working. It, it, oh he's 27 dude he's <laughs> yeah. 27 he's got oh, the energy no, oh, not, not I a see. second goes to waste from the second i wake up to the second go to sleep lightning round next question today the big question is what is your favorite bike and what are you doing yeah. next to the cheetah? I love it. I love it. Yeah. So, man, my favorite bike is probably my first, like, like my first love, and that was my six three six. It's a Kawasaki Ninja six three six. Love uh, it. It's a sport love bike, man. It. Yeah, yeah, man. Alamoto. Um, the, 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 the Harley is what I'd ride right now. You know, currently because the six three six is, I need to do a frame swap on it because I dropped too much slop on it. Uh, oh, okay, so it's under repair. Yeah, it's under repair, but she'll be back, man. She always does, you know. But I tell you, what, that's probably my most toxic relationship. She's hurt me the most, <laughs> and I just keep coming back. Oh the man. Comeback. Yeah, I can't get oh, away from man. her. So we we a ninja love family, as you know. Okay? Yeah. Oh yeah. I get that image of of the Instagram that that little voice that says, "This is my lady." This <laughs> is Brianna. And I, I'm listening to He's all this. He's hooked I'm on like, Instagram. Yeah. Follow him right now. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, um, and I'm listening oh, to you, and I'm like, "Oh, that's your baby right there." Oh, it is, man. It really, she has my heart. That's where the six three six. I love it the most because. Earlier when I said like what I do stunt riding for is because it helps me express myself. I get to let loose, just like sports were for me. You go on there, step on the field, and you just flip the switch, and then you lit it all out. That's what bikes do. When I get 
get on that bike, man, I can really just get down. I can just let it all out. Whether it's hooting and hollering, woohoo, fucking uh, just scraping, just sticking my tongue in, you know, like whatever. Every I, angle. I can let it out. I can, yeah. You know, and just being like a normal, like normal person riding down the road, I can't do that. People gonna look at me crazy. Right. You know? No, right, but you're right, an artist. So. You're 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 a pro artist. Yeah. yeah you create at art. The, yeah. At the show, bro. At the yeah, show, bro. Yep. Like, yep. I like getting people excited, man. Showing, being goofy, uh, being just like being myself. You, you know? know what? Forget women. I'm, I'm getting my bike, and that's it. I, forget, <laughs> no, seriously, forget women because you have to spend money on them. You're switching and teams. Then, yeah, definitely. Dude. <laughs> I'll, I'll do that. I'm do staying that. with my bike. I'm staying with my yeah, bike yeah. because my bike is not gonna go with some other guy. It's not gonna tell me, "Well, I need this," and then just. You get the bike, Drop man. And there you the go. The ladies end up coming, whether you like it or not. Yeah, you know? yeah but I'm, <laughs> like you, you, you're loved towards your bike. I'm, I'm getting that. Dude. Yeah, no, for sure. You, know, that, that, you pour yourself in your passion, the rest will come. The money, the bitches, whatever. Da da da. All like, but you pour yourself into you first, and then the rest of the life will unfold. And that's where people kind of get screwed up. Like some people get the bike for the wrong reasons. Some people get the bike for the ladies. Some people get the bikes for the money. They see this as a way to get rich. They see this as a way to be cool. Man, I mean, uh, you can do whatever you want, but the game, the game going to filter you out. Yeah. Guys, are uh, you listening at home? Please take notes. Yeah. Who's the one that got you understanding it's for the love of the game? No quitting. You're in it to win it. It's a lifestyle, baby. Biking. Man, I tell you what. Um, who got me that passion? I tell you what. They're... How did that come to you? That, that, I, that passion has been, it was something that's been within me for, since I was very little. And it's always uh, been whatever it was. Like, or, or like before motorcycles, it was football. You know, like, yeah. And that was my entire heart. I pulled my whole entire heart into it. Yeah. And then so whenever I didn't have football anymore, you told I was me a little lost. That. Yeah, yeah, I ain't going to lie. I, I, was like, I was like, man. And then someone introduced me into motorcycles. And uh, his name was Tanner, man. And he, uh, he basically, I, I had no clue. I've always seen motorcycles, but I didn't know. Like I didn't, it wasn't one of those things I wanted. And then next day, I know he, I started this new job, and he's supposed to be training me all day. And all day, he won't stop talking about motorcycles. I'm like, dude, this fucking, all right, this kid loves motorcycles. Where do I do this at now? Like, I needed to figure out how to work this job. Right. Anyways, we get off work that day, and we we're in Panama City Beach. It was spring break. We walk outside, and he had this blue sport bike sitting out there. I'm like, okay, damn, that's a nice sport bike. I get why you like it. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Da, da, da. Well, man, it was spring break, so it was flooded outside with people. And uh, he starts to bike up, and uh, man, it's boom, 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 it's 1000 ZX10 mm -hmm. with and, the sound and everything. Oh man, I was hitting, so I'm like, okay, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> it's still no big deal at this point, yeah. And then, dude, he lights it up, dude, does a rolling burnout out the parking lot, and the whole parking lot got whoa, everybody started with ecstatic. That energy reminded me of like making a big hit in football, right? It reminded me of scoring a touchdown, you know what I'm saying? Right. The whole crowd goes crazy, and you just got everybody lit, like that was the energy that I love, and I was like, man, I want to be able to bring that. To everybody and so that's what in the moment i knew so to everyone out there if you feel something in your heart don't listen to a goddamn person or anything and just go do it man because you life short you're probably gonna die on some dumb shit anyways beautiful you know i probably well get said. taken out about getting struck by like yeah, play 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 land on your work. freaking head man and you never got to ride so get out there get yeah. on two wheels even if it's electric get started and do something get your license and follow that's right wild riders and yeah. power moto next question we yeah. are rocking how many tires a year do you buy and is michelin sponsoring you yeah i wish <laughs> no we actually we actually have a cinco sponsor um but Congrats, um, bro, which, which is nice to have um basically run a lot of their front tires for sure um nice um but i go through a lot of uh i like the dry rotted old rear tires man because mm -hmm. we're, we're, we just burn them off mm -hmm. every thursday night you can count on that that cheetah that slobster that's what i call it the slobster, the slobster. It, <laughs> yeah it's gonna go through a tire Last time burned to the rim, you know, it burned that thing to the ground. But every Thursday, I blow a tire for you. So you can count on that. <laughs> if, that if that bike's out there, it's going to go through a tire. Um, and, then, and then right behind that is Friday Night Streets. Then you got Saturday, which is we're just outside catching a good time so out and about. Sunday, lot day. That's where we want to practice. If you ever want to, uh, like, learn, you don't know anything. Like you, like you said, you want to learn how to stunt, but you don't really. That's the controlled environment where you can kind of just baby steps. Baby steps is the key to it. But, it, dude, I'm, I'm, I'm a chicken. I, I'm Dude, you know, but I mean, something like a, a simple burnout isn't that hard. You grab the front brake, you, you put your front weight on the front tire, so it kind of locks it so you can get the weight off the back tire, and you pop the clutch, but you hold that front tire, that front brake, and that back tire is going to start spinning. And then and then you level up to like easing out on the front brake, and then you can get it rolling, and then so you're not staying still. But like, man, just to do a simple burnout, you can come out there on a Sunday, and we can teach you. That's what this community is about. Back when I was learning, man, I, I busted my ass 
ass every day because I had nobody that would even just give me a pointer. And then finally, uh, there's a guy named Chris Aylman. He took me under his wing and he's like, and he just showed me how to, like, I broke awesome. my bike in half. And he showed me just these little pointers, like, yo, when the wheel comes up, instead of, you, you hit the back brake. Because I just kept going up and landing on my back. <laughs> going up, landing up. I'm like, what the hell am I doing, man? Do so you have he, a stunt machine for this guy? I think he would look hilarious. Yeah, the, I, I will film that from the cushion. <laughs> yes. Dude. So they, they have wheeling machine out there, but, uh, you know, uh, I, I didn't learn on that. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to, with it, with, but if you want to, it helps. Uh, I guess, but just for his first wheelie, you what's know, what's a wheelie machine? A wheelie machine is like something you hook up to your bike. Most time they have the bike already because it's made for that bike, and you hook it up to the back wheel, and basically it, it keeps you straight. And then you can practice popping it up and using the brake to bring you down. And then if you go too far back, you land on the cushion behind. You. Um, but but basically it keeps you straight. It's like training wheels for a wheelie. So, you know. so it's a cushion you fall on it. Big shout out to. So cool. Really school. cool. Yeah, All man. Right. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Them boys over there hold you down, man. Yeah. Yeah. They, yeah. They'll get you taken care of. So what happens is then you're learning how to modulate the clutch because it's gas and clutch, popping that clutch, and you're coming up and like you said, tapping the rear brake. But if you go too far, there's a cushion for you to land on, bro. You're yeah. safe. That, nice. It's like going to bed nice, with your girl. Nice, nice. Yeah. That's what that's what I wanted to learn. I wanted to learn to how to get a, a nice girl. And not not go bankrupt, you know? Do you yeah. have anything anything for that? <laughs> no, I don't, man. Jesus. I don't. I'm still working on that myself, oh, man. My I, well, the, the love of your bike. That's yeah. That, I'm, I'm gonna take your your. That's advice where my that's that where my money and passion goes there into, you, man. Yeah. The girls come next, you know. But not even. I just like you said. I'm more. I'm right now. I'm such fo so focused on my path and my and where I'm trying to be, um, unless. Like I said, uh, unless you're there to support it and like and not slow me down, then you can stick around. We're here for a good time, and, and, and things are going to grow. You know, like I'm all about that. I'm all about having a supportive uh, system uh, to be behind me. We love I, the positive vibes. I'm here. I'm here. Positive I'm, I'm gonna send them right back. You know. Hell yeah. Um, but uh, uh, definitely, you got you got to focus on yourself, and, and uh, or else you know you'll never get anywhere in life. You know, you'll just awesome. wake up one day and then. Not be fucking. You'll be waist deep in quicksand. And well said. Wonder, yeah. Wondering how how everyone else got where they wanted to be and you did it. Or you turn around and you're like, damn, I'm this old and I haven't done jack. Yeah, yeah. yeah I don't. I, I, I'll, I'll never do that. You know. I well, know. well. I've had a lot of examples growing up. You know, as far as family and stuff like that. I don't have any family besides me and my little sister. Um, and uh, basically, yeah, I I wanted to be an example to her. That life is what you make it. And if it, how old is your little sister? She just turned twenty just the other day. And she does. Uh, she's in the stuff? military. Yeah, she's in the navy. Uh, wow. Who's following? Who's following, bro? Yeah, yeah. Wow. That's right. That's wow. Right. That's right. She's in the military. Oh, uh, yeah, wow. she's in the. She just jo got out of uh, a navy A school, so she went to boot Congrats, camp. Congrats, brother. Uh, thank you, man. Thank you. I'm proud yeah. of that. Congrats to her, man. A yeah. A thanks, shout out to young Thanks for AZ. the service. Thanks for yeah, the service. Yeah, right hand. My fat. My bad. My bad. <laughs> but um, yeah. Where's she, she stationed at now? Uh, so she's in the reserves. So she she actually comes. She's here in Miami. Oh, fantastic. Broward. And she's uh, into stunting too. Oh yeah, so she wheelies too. I tie her out of wheelie, and nice. that, that girl got she got balls just as big Dude, as mine. We know? gotta, we gotta, <laughs> we gotta get her in, in film because uh, I know a lot of people not only would sure. love to see you, yeah, but I but they I, love to see the girls the too, man. Girls, yeah. dude, especially yeah. to get in yeah. more girls. Yeah, she's a young girl, man. You, uh, she's definitely my sister. There's no denying her, man. Yeah. She, she's a little cuckoo, just like me, but <laughs> uh, but man, she is certified. She's certified. Probably the most mature, um, you know, driven. Uh, ready to go get it, twenty year olds in the I've ever met. Seth, tell your parents to make some beautiful kids. She's a pretty girl. We'll look yeah, after this did, guy. They did something right. That's about it. They made some good kids. <laughs> no, dude, I'm too old. I'm the no, no, no. What I meant is to see her do the stunts. That's, <laughs> yeah, that is the cool part. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm too yeah, sure, sure. No, Omar. dude, I'm, I'm, I'm above forty. She's a biker. I'm above forty. She does stunts, and you can learn a lot from her. Dude, I'm I don't know. I'm already, but no, He's no, old no, enough no, to be your dad. Easy. Forget it. <laughs> yeah. She was like, Dad, no, no, no. Daddy? No. 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 Yeah, yeah, no, no, Sorry, no, Sam. No, we no, had to no, make fun no. of something yeah, there, yeah, bro. Yeah, I get it. I get no, it, and yeah. she's a Marine? Forget it. Yeah, yeah. She's in the Navy. But yeah, the Navy. But yeah, she'll kick some ass. You so, guys it. So, not, you know, uh, what I'm learning, what I'm getting is camaraderie. There you go. Yeah. Connection. Believing in yourself, never yeah, giving yeah. up. That's it. Supporting no the community. What. Broward on top. Yeah. That's all I'm getting, man. Thursday night, bike night, we going, we filming. Yeah. Inviting us over to the uh, repair shops. We're promoting all the local people. Yeah. We're coming to the electric uh, Saturday show. Yeah. Okay. Heck yeah, man. We're Every, testing. Yeah. We're testing. All that, man. I got to see this guy busted.
Well, this episode Crazy. has turned out. Man. We could go all night long on yeah. Power Mocho. I yeah, really man. appreciate Wild Riders. I want to thank you, Seth. Wild Much Riders. Love, brother. Appreciate you and everything you do for the motorcycle community. Yep. Teamwork makes a dream work. Takes a village. That's right, baby. Omar the Red. Appreciate you as well. Omar already got his gift. And if you need your gift, it's $29.99. Artwork by Power Moto. Yeah. Artist Sky Champion. That's and cool. I signed this one for you, brother. To Seth. A.K.A. Sloppy. Man, Mad love you. from the real Sky Champion. It's dated, baby. Dude, and check out the these love, pictures, brother. baby. They're all oh, designed. That's sick. And by the way, uh, they are copyrighted. So okay, check them cool. out. Thanks, cool. brother. Appreciate hey, you. Yeah, I appreciate that, man. Hey, something to something to put on the uh, mantle there. No, the that's super sick. Yeah, man. Absolutely. Dude, I'm glad put you came right over. Office. I'm glad you came over. You brought some adrenaline and and... That's love Power for the team, game, man. baby. Yeah, that's passion. Yeah. And yeah. I know you're from Florida, so all donations yeah. go to the uh, homeless here in South Florida. Oh, cool, man. Twenty nine ninety nine. Get yours today. Holidays are coming. Makes a great stocking stuffer. You've been watching the Power Moto Channel. If you like Power this, Moto. share it with your friends. Tell them about Omar and his interest in ladies, and also follow. I'm wild single. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, follow but, but wild riders. I'm single. I'm follow single. wild riders. We out, baby. That's it, baby. Power out. Moto outside. Out it. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Hit that playlist. Support this channel, fam, and I see you on the next one. If you like this video, check out one of these two other similar videos. And thanks for subscribing. We out.